Welcome back. This is UIC 16B, Network 8 of Cloak and Dagger. My name is Dominic Raphael. I'm your host. Because the doctor is in. Part B of our series, Cloak and Dagger, Unit 16, is going to take a look at the closest people in your life. How you feel when you're betrayed beyond belief. It can be so many emotions, heart-wrenching, heartbreaking, deceptive, it could be all kinds of nasty emotions and now on to our video I was being betrayed by so-called family now betrayal can come in many different forms it's part of cloak and dagger they can be your best of friends at the best of times or when they want to provide something for themselves or prove something to themselves it becomes something different an example as I always do about a month ago I hadn't used my vehicle the red Nissan 2003 for four days a short time from that four days of non-use, we made a visit to a friend. That friend, one of the first questions that came out of their mouth was, is the red truck broken down? Interestingly enough, this only proves my point that I've made on several videos that um, I have been tagged. I have now got proof of that illegal tag. And it's going to be staying under wraps because this story isn't over yet. And it is unfortunate that um, the people you trust the most, the ones that can betray you first. Now, what is their incentive? When you've known somebody for over 20 years and never once did you indicate that you were a threat or that you were un worthy of their trust. I've always been of the nature to give everybody the benefit of the doubt and it's proved me to be wrong many, many times. How do we accomplish something on equal ground? We could easily call it, we could call it the ghost lot, term used in any type of bidding, meaning what it is that's for sale. There can be what they call a ghost lot. So you bid on this ghost lot, although you've never seen it, but it's usually one of the better products. The hardest, hardest thing to understand is not understanding why. I don't know. But it looks like it's going to be a long, long investigation into this betrayal. Not that I hadn't suspected it for a while. I don't need to convince myself otherwise anymore. All the evidence points to that very same 
suspicion, betrayal, deception. And again, why? Do I look like a threat? Because I can't be. I'm not capable of it. But people are capable of many things. One of the most unfortunate things for people is their betrayal. So where do you go from here? Where do I go from here? Well, I go nowhere and stay exactly where I am. Up front, transparent, open. Another betrayal, or maybe it was a setup, and it seems to be something that is continuous from many different parts of your network. Betrayal, that is. And uh, this took place at Christmas time. You know, in the middle of the pandemic, and people have the audacity try and prove that there is something afoot, that something isn't right, that something is credible from their point of view. The problem is, is that many of these people, although they could be as close, they truly do not know you. The issue is here. Wow. What can I say? Cloak and Dagger exists. And it probably will continue to exist beyond our life. Because one thing with the human species is nobody trusts no one. It is a selfish, inconsiderate ideology, corrupted, and so many people have their own agenda. Even another example for the cloak and dagger of deception and betrayal. Why would someone outright admit to doing something that was illegal? unless they were trying to stir or obtain proof illegal action. Why would they put their own family at risk just because the grass is greener on one side of the fence and not the other? What can I say? It's a hard lesson, but I am gifted with the insight. And I think that's probably what upsets most people the most. They're not being secretive. They're not being elusive. They are more open and out in the open than they'll ever admit. But do you know what I Will continue to do the same thing I do every day chalk it up to experience and see where it all leads because when you can influence a person's thoughts just by thinking of it yourself and this happens consistently you gotta step back and say Wow, I truly am gifted. But that's all for Cloak and Dagger. This week, Session 8, U-I-C. I'm Dominic Raphael, the doctor is signing out. Cheers.